That gym is like four times the size of that gym. It got pull-out bleach. Like, it's a modern gym. Showers. That's the one right there. Once we get that school ready, we'll be able to do any program, any yeah. conference, mm -hmm. any retreat. You could do it all there. Mm -hmm. you could do, the only thing we would be missing at that point is dormitories. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we would be missing. Once both of these schools is ready, we can accommodate anybody. And we're going to go after them, too. Yeah. I'm going to go to the fraternities and the big churches and say, oh, yeah. why are you paying Sheraton? You know what I mean? All that money exactly. to use their conference center. You can use our conference. You can sleep there. Mm -hmm. But why not come and do it here? We got all the space you need, classroom space you need. So we really going to go after these bougie black organizations who always giving their money to white uh, hotels mm -hmm. and say, hey, we need that money. You know, we independent. Of yes. Yes. Hotels. And get treated like a Negro. Yes. You know what I mean? So we're going to actively go after them. Have your national conference here. What are you getting at the hotel except the beds right. that you don't get right here? And I think HBCUs need to go after them more, too, because mm -hmm. HBCUs also have the facilities and they have the dorms. Right. So I really don't understand why the HBCUs aren't doing more to trap that black conference dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but, yeah, that's what we plan to do. That's what we plan to do. That's Once we up, mm -hmm. we'll be fine. Right. I really think we'll be fine. It's just getting there. Mm -hmm. The hardest part is getting open. Mm -hmm. You know, and then once we get this open, I want to try to open up a few more Chicago, Detroit, Africa. Ultimately, you want to put them around the world. Right. But, you know, that first one is most important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you get this first one. Got yeah. It, yeah. And everybody. Yes. The yes. But I ain't let no coons on this camp. A couple no. of them snuck in the block party. Really? Yeah, a couple of them got thrown out. Oh, good. About one or two snuck, because I don't know what they look like. They yeah, one dude stood at the front and take one of the coons, uh, take the whole fest, right? So somebody said, Dr. Umar, we think the dude is up there speaking negatively because he was live. So I went over there and I asked the man, the man, like, bro, are you a hater? Are you filming my thing and you speaking negatively on the festival? Nah, 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 I'm just here to see for myself. But I said, time out. Have you made negative videos about me and right. my school? Nah, nah, he lied and right. said he didn't. But after the festival, everybody started sending me all the videos he made. So the brother wasn't even honest because he knew I would have put him out. So he lied. So next year, we're going to be a little better with the security you know who in it. terms of knowing who the coons are. Because I don't know their faces because I'm too busy to follow them. Right. Oh, man. Oh, he, he know he ain't going to. He know he better not show up. He better not show up. That down low bussy boy, he better not show up. <laughs> He better not show up. I see you made a video of him, but I, I didn't see it yet. I got okay, to go okay. That hey guy's crazy. Is, but the thing is, hey you guy. never come after them. They always come after yes, you. Yes, leave me alone. Like, this man is just oh, Monty chilled out, though. Yeah, He's still joking. He wasn't. Like Monty kind of chilled out uh, a little bit. I respect that. He doesn't make videos anymore. Yeah, he kind of, so. Monty kind of chilled out. It's a couple of them chilled out. E and J. Oh, they horrible. Uh, they horrible. It's like three husband and wife teams mm. well, that do video. E and J, it's another one. other one, Spengalis. Oh, Spengali. She's, she's she the leader. Obsessive. She's obsessive. the leader. They're obsessed yeah. with you, man. I don't, I don't know. understand it. I want to know if I ever met this woman. What did you do? But what I'm being told, <laughs> she's not black. Really? I'm being told no, she's no, no, not no. black. She's, she's Latino or Mexican. No, no, she sounds black to my ear. You think she black? I think she is. I think but she never shows her face. She never shows her I'm not sure if she's... Some people say she I mean, black. Could be wrong, Here's the thing, though. If she was black, why call yourself anti-Afro? Right. See, that's saying I'm anti. Yeah, that's true. Why? So she I always might wondered not. about she that. Might be like, it's a crazy. I think she name, a Latino. Right? Anti-Afro Svengalis. Yeah. Weird, right? Yeah, she she a weirdo, man. Hmm. And that voice, I can't stand her. <laughs> Anti-Afro <laughs> Svengali. <laughs> I'm back with another Umar update. The lights have not been paid. The water's coming out the wall. He does not own the schools. I mean, flat out line. Then they keep calling the city. The city be like, yo, who are these people keep calling us about you? I'm like, why don't y'all just ignore these people? They do the same thing to Latrice Allen. She's a comedian. Latrice Allen. I got to look her up. Okay. She like okay. don't hide anything. She and conscious. Is, yes. Okay. She's okay. I'm gonna out check out. And there, and she makes a lot of money okay. on lawn and stuff. And okay. they like okay. constantly fights her, constantly go after her. I'm gonna check her. out Latrice Allen. Yeah. I'm gonna see how she, how she, uh, how she rolling. But your biggest one is uh, 
Lennon. Lennon and Spengali is about tied. He's making a career It was here. Spengali. Lennon caught up. They they the husband and wife. Mm. Uh, no, no, they're no, they not really husband and wife, no, but they are the husband and wife of the anti-Dr. Umar movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that don't make any sense. And that dude is horrible. He ain't got no job. Oh, he does. He says he does. Um, no, no, no. His job is making videos about you. me to pay the. Yeah, he like, pay the bills yeah, with the YouTube money. Yes. I mean, like. $50 yes. But I want to know what's up with the wife, though. Your husband makes a living. Black power. Your husband makes a living slandering another black man. Yeah. And you okay with that? Like the time he be on the videos for hours at a time. Yeah. You got three kids. Hours, two hours. They got like five, six kids, bro. Are you checking their homework? Are you spending daddy time? Why do you do this every day? Every day. The man is obviously he's sick. I told you he had doing it every day. He's getting money for that. Oh yeah, the money. Yeah. It's definitely it's the, the money. money. It's the income. It's the income. Yeah. It's sad to me. But it, I don't understand how stop. black brothers. He ain't gonna stop. Put yeah. And, and uh, we fighting him though. We we trying to get the page taken down but he makes so much money for youtube that youtube don't want to touch him because i'm an right. algorithm even though i don't have a youtube page mm -hmm. my name you see so they don't youtube don't want to mess with they money mm -hmm. they're like if we start taking him down we might have to take them all down right. and you know how much money we make it off his name alone right. so, but you let them go in on me all day because it's black on black because it's black care. on black they don't care you're absolutely right that's what it is you're absolutely black right on black. They don't if care. black people want to do this to their own what do we care? Exactly. That's y'all problem. Y'all handle that's, that. That's what happens. Y'all handle that. that. In our battles. Yes. Because if yes. they all come together with you that's fighting against you, this would have been done. Oh, this would have been done. This would have been done. Yeah, I noticed like all the, uh, uh, the, the conscious people are attacking each other. Sad. You know, it's crazy. Sad. It's like, they but sad. I don't see the white people doing that. Nah. You know, it's just the black nah. people. Nah. It's sad, man. You know? It's sad. And I, and I wholeheartedly believe one of the reasons that they oppose me, other personalities in the conscious movement, is because I'm the first one in a long time to take it from speaking to building. Mm -hmm. And once we succeed here, the people are going to raise their expectations of everybody else. Right. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So if Dr. Umar did a school from nothing, right. from nothing, mm -hmm. seven years mm -hmm. ago, then you, where's your institution? Because right. we ain't trying to listen to 50 million more videos. We know y'all know the information, exactly. but the information ain't saving nobody. Mm -hmm. So where the bank, where the hospital, where the manufacturing, where the shipping at, you know what I mean? Where the supermarket, people are going to start asking more from these so-called YouTube and conscious leaders. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think a lot of them hoping this don't work because that automatically means I got to produce now. Mm -hmm. The information is not enough because Dr. Umar speaks more than all of us. And if he can still build a school, why can't we build something? Mm -hmm. So I think it's the accountability aspect of it. So I got two questions sure. for you. When you get all this knowledge, do you be like up nights reading books? I'm a reader. You know I'm a reader. You know I'm a reader. I'm a reader. I'm a big reader. Yeah. I'm a big reader. But it started for me in elementary school back up in Philly. Uh, fourth and fifth grade, we had black history class mm -hmm. with Miss Green, who I ran into a couple years ago. She didn't even knew who I was, but I knew who she was. Um, and that was my intro to black consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that was my public speaking because they had black history oratorical contest. So I won that. Mm. So... The speaking and the consciousness started together in elementary school. Now, my father takes me to my first family reunion in about sixth grade, seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And um, that's when I found out I'm related to Frederick Douglass. Mm -hmm. And when I come out of college, I joined the Garvey movement. And the Garvey movement in Philly is literally four blocks from the elementary school where I started mm -hmm. speaking. Literally, they're four blocks wow. apart. So mm -hmm. this is where the consciousness started. And this is where it kind of elevated. Yeah, I think I remember you saying something about, about that in one of your videos. Yeah, yeah. And it was a coincidence. Philadelphia, right? Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, you ever in Philly, you want to rob by. Sometimes it's open. Yeah. It's you one of the oldest. Yeah, it's one of the oldest continuously owned Garvey properties in America. Mm -hmm. I think they had that building since the 40s. Mm -hmm. So there's a strong possibility that Kwame and Kroma may have actually went to UNIA meetings in that building when he was a student mm -hmm. at uh, Lincoln and then UPenn. Mm -hmm. And remember, W.E.B. Du Bois used to work at UPenn, right. mm -hmm. you know, and then he became a, a mentor for uh, Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. But being in the UNIA, they would just ask me to get up and speak because I was the only young person mm -hmm. and they had nothing on the agenda. And so they would say, tell the people what's going on in the schools. So I start telling people, then they say, tell them what's the school psychology. All this is just 
impromptu. Get up and talk. <laughs> and then next thing you know, people start inviting me. Like literally the public uh -huh. speaking career was accident. Mm -hmm. Literally it was an accident. Why don't you come do my Kwanzaa? Why don't you come do this? Why don't you come? And the next thing you know, boof. You yeah, know? It yeah, it, it just took off on its own, so. Now my second question is, <clears throat> before I used to listen to you, right? I used to listen to the irritating G. Yeah, that's my man. I like G. What the hell happened to him? He's still out there. No, he's still out there. He's still making videos? Yeah, I haven't seen any videos of him lately because I've been so busy. I don't see nobody's video. He's thinking, still out there, though. I was thinking you kind of like uh, made him hang it up or something. Nah, nah, because uh, uh, me and Jeannie, mm -hmm. we are the most closely aligned mm -hmm. of all the conscious lecturers. You follow me? We pretty much see eye to eye on most things. We got some differences, mm -hmm. but we both are BG. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm Pan-Africanist. He would say African nationalist, right? But we both are BG. Okay. So we're the closest. Like, if you had to put us in groups, like, okay, who did you put with Dr. Umar? It would be Jeannie and Sarah Sutton Seti. Those would be the two, because we are the three RBG guys. We uphold the Garvey line. Mm -hmm. You know, the Pan-Africanism, the black nationalism. Mm -hmm. uh, we would be the three most closely yoked. But he's still out there. Mm -hmm. uh, when the last time I saw him, oh, he was going to vent at the fest. And I didn't get back to him. You mean the thing you just had? Apologies to the irritated genie. I'm just remembering, genie, that you text me about the fest and I never got back to you. My, he messaged me about the fest, but they can't see you though. He messaged me about the fest. He wanted to vent and I forgot to get back to him. So I, I, I got to make sure he vents next year. I got you, Jeannie, next year on the festival. My bad, black man. Shout out to the irritated Jeannie. Shout out to Jeannie. Yeah, that's, he's all right. <laughs> Jeannie, all right with me. I like the Jeannie. Jeannie has good info. Yeah. Last Very time. good info. Very good info. As does Seti. You know, we had our little thing or whatever, but I still respect the fact that he upholds the red, black, and green. You know, the Garvey platform, so. Yeah, yeah. we just trying to get as much done before it get cold. Because, you know, once oh, it get yeah. cold, ain't nobody trying to do no work. Right. <laughs> once it get cold, ain't nobody trying to do no work. So that's where we at. That's where we at. We got our cameras up, a little security. That's good. He definitely needs security. Yeah, yeah.